Today on the channel, we're going to be installing Windows XP in 2023 in VirtualBox. So a little bit of a throwback here, but just kind of quickly show you how to install it into VirtualBox so you can play around with some of these old nostalgic operating systems. So uh, today we're using VirtualBox latest version uh, 7. So you can go to virtualbox.org and you can download that and just install it here on your Mac. VirtualBox is a free virtualization software so that is very nice and it works pretty good so once you get VirtualBox downloaded you want to go to uh, the new one here and you can see that this looks a lot different I think this is actually the first video I'm making with this latest version here first thing you want to do is just type in the name of the operating system so you can do that and then VirtualBox 7 now allows you to kind of do like an automate it kind of install so you can choose an ISO and all that good stuff you can skip the installation but just make sure all that stuff's good right there and then you hit next as you can see it takes you to what we normally see but you can actually choose an ISO file and then it'll kind of do like an unattended installation I still personally like to do it all myself so we're just gonna do that you can see it's recognized Windows XP because of the name that we put up there so that's good now Windows XP does not require much specs at all so you can see how little RAM is actually required it's hard to believe that 192 megabytes is all that's required here but for these purposes I'm just gonna bump it up two gigs that is a staggering amount for a Windows XP virtual machine your processor you can keep that just at one it's totally fine one or two is what I would use on that as far as hard drive space it only recommends 10 gigs which is probably plenty enough maybe 20 something I always do 64 as a baseline on all of my virtual machines so that's what I'm gonna do of course this is gonna be determined by how much storage space is on your computer because well that will take up the storage as it goes you can do a pre allocate size which will take up 64 gigs immediately but what this is going to do is take up 64 gigs as needed so that is the more sensible option i think okay and then it's going to give you like a quick summary of what you just did you hit finish and now we have a virtual machine let's hop into settings real quick and just kind of look at a couple things here and there so i don't believe anything really needs to be changed in there under system this is where you can update your ram at all times floppy disk we're going to leave that because this is windows xp um, none of that really needs to be changed you could bump up your processor to two if you want it under display your video memory i would bump that all the way up to 128 megabytes you could even enable this to make it a little smoother but you shouldn't need to this is windows xp um, but yeah i believe that's all we need and all of these things right here so we'll hit ok on that and then we can click on the start button so when you click on start it's going to bring up another window which will be the virtual machine actually firing up and if you notice that this is a little slow or laggy in this video that's because we're screen recording so the screen recording is taking up a lot of memory um, and processor power of course so that's why VirtualBox is kind of struggling a little bit but normally with Windows XP it's just lightning fast um, it's pretty crazy how quick um, it actually is so you can see that there is no um, ISO file so you want to go ahead and select that and now for as far as ISO files goes you're gonna to have to obtain that yourself somehow I happen to have an old Windows XP installation disk that I converted into an ISO file so that's what I'm using uh, for this video so once you select that we can hit the mount and retry the boot so it's basically going to restart it now that we have that in there and you can see that we're now going into the Windows setup screen so that means it is working correctly alright so now it wants us to hit enter to start the setup and it wants us to agree to the licensing terms now since we're on a Mac we're gonna have to actually hold down the function key and then hit F8 so do that to agree to the terms 
There's our unpartitioned space. You notice it is 64 or 65,000 megabytes, which is about 64 gigabytes. And then we want to partition it um, the correct way there. And now it's going to load and install it there on our partition drive. So we'll go ahead and give this a minute and we'll come back whenever that's done. Okay, so now that it has finally loaded all that stuff in, you can see that we're in the actual Windows installation screen here. So this is gonna take even some more time to complete. It's probably gonna ask you a few questions throughout this process, like to create your computer account and that kind of thing. So we'll go through this and we'll come back and we should be on the desktop after this step. So well, here we are, we're in one of the final setup screens. It's loading right in. Again, this is so laggy because of the screen recording. I already had to pause the recording to make uh, things go a little faster here. So normally it is not this slow. But we're in the final bits here. So welcome to Microsoft Windows. Get the cool little animation there. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on the next button here. It wants us to turn on automatic updates, although that's not going to do <laughs> a single thing here uh, in 2023 especially. But it wants you to turn them on, so we'll make it think that it's being protected. And I would register it, but the registration thing I'm pretty sure is long gone. All right, go ahead and type your name in. You can also create other user accounts if you would like. And that is everything we need to do to set it up. So now we should be brought to the desktop. And there we are, guys. We're on the desktop. Look at the classic Windows XP look. Absolutely love it. And there's one more step uh, we can do here since we're in uh, VirtualBox. If you head up here, well, wow, my cursor's being a little laggy. There we go. If you head up here to Devices and click on Insert Guest Editions CD Image, and then you want to go to the My Computer right here. I cannot believe how laggy this is on the virtual machine. It's pretty crazy. But if you go into My Computer, you should see um, the VirtualBox Guest Editions appear right here. So we double click on that, it's going to open up a setup thing here. So you can just kind of go through that. And what the Guest Editions does is it kind of optimizes the virtual machine a little bit better with some of your host machine's hardware and installs all the necessary drivers and things that are needed like that to make things run more smooth. So. This is also going to allow us to be able to adjust our screen resolution uh, to whatever we would like. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and let this uh, download here, and then it'll restart, and we should be good to go. That is all for today's video. So once that gets done installing, you'll be able to see it, uh, be able to adjust your screen resolution and all that good stuff. Just want to make this video, you know, a little throwback, Windows XP and show you how you can possibly run it on today's hardware if you would so desire. It seems like I have to do something with Windows XP once a year, so here you go for 2023. But anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching the channel, and I will catch you all in the next video.